Stamping for Beginners and Beyond. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about the three different kinds of rubber stamps on the market. Um, I've been stamping for about 15 years and I wanted to make these videos because when I first started stamping, even though I had a demonstrator and I was in a class, I really had no idea what I was doing when it came to stamping on my own. And um, Almost everything that I'm going to share with you are things that I figured out on my own. And um, I'd like to save you the hassle of trying to figure these out and arm you with a lot of good information that will help you make stamping a joy in your life. So I'm going to flip my camera around and get started. And so here we go. Okay, so the three different types of rubber stamps that I wanted to talk about are first wood mount and these are the ones that you're probably the most familiar with um, it's a rubber stamp mounted permanently on a piece of wood and the good thing about this type of rubber stamp is that it does have the image right on the front so it's easy to see your stamps um, it is um, easy to grab and it's ready to go you don't have to mount it on anything you don't have to have a special acrylic block um, basically, it consists of red rubber. Um, it doesn't always have to be red. It can be a different color, but it's a high quality rubber that's very good for stamping. And that's mounted to a piece of foam. You can see how that's a little squishy. And then that is mounted to the wood. And one of the really good things about red rubber is its ability to um, hold the ink and without having it um, beat up and it makes a very good image on paper. Now, one of the nice things too, like I said, because it's mounted on foam, um, it gives a little bit of room for you to um, kind of tip the stamp right and left, up and down, and that will ensure that the whole image is copied completely onto paper from his little tip of his antler to his nose to down here. Um, sometimes it's easy to stamp and it, the whole image looks good except for like right up there. Um, but red rubber is really good for being a, uh, a good conduit to get the ink onto the paper as you can see with that one. Now, another type of wood mounted stamp is this kind with the handle. Um, this is a super old fashioned looking stamp. I got this one at rubberstampwarehouse.com and it was a special stamp that I had ordered because I was making gift bags for my church. And this one says, thanks for visiting with us. And it was hard to find a stamp that said just that. So that's a really good place to go if you do want a specific uh, sentiment stamp. Um, and like I said, this one doesn't have the red rubber, but it is uh, gray, but it still does a really good job uh, getting the ink to the paper. And the next kind of wood mount that I want to show you is a really fun one called a peg stamp. And again, you would still consider this a wood mount stamp because you have your red rubber and your wood. And there's a little tiny bit of foam in there. You don't need much with these, but I'll just quickly demonstrate What's fun about peg stamps is that you can turn them just a little in your fingers, kind of roll them so that the image isn't exactly the same direction each time you stamp it. And I can show you a little bit better here with this little fern. Um, we might want that to go like that. And then you can tip it that way and that way. Um, these are made by Rubber Stamp Tapestry. I do believe there are a couple other companies that have these type of peg stamps, but they're a lot of fun and I really do like using them. Um, they have such an assortment that you can just, the possibilities are endless, but they're usually small. Um, this is like one of the bigger ones that they would have, this big one here. But again, these are still your wood mount red rubber stamps. Um, Next up are what's called your um, cling stamps. And they are called cling stamps because they have to cling to an acrylic block. 
I'm going to show you a couple different kinds. These are from Unity Stamps, and these are um, one of my favorite sets. Um, one of the nice things about these compared to the wood is like, this is just a little bit bigger and there's eight stamps in here and this is just one stamp. So they take up a lot less room. Um, they're also less expensive because you're not paying for a block of wood. Now you can see the designs here on the outside, but as you dig in, uh, you have to take a little bit more care to make sure that you're looking at the exact sentiment or design that you want. Because in this set, they don't have, hmm, Here's the one I wanted to demonstrate. In this set, they don't have the um, design on the opposite side. So you have to just go with what you know that you're working with. I can see that this is a heart. So I'm gonna go with that. And um, like I said, they, they, it still has the red rubber, which is uh, deeply etched and it has the foam on the back and that's nice for um, wiggling it a little bit. And but you will need an acrylic block. And I'm gonna talk more about acrylic blocks in just a minute, but I'm just gonna mount that there. Don't have a lot of colors of ink with me here, but I'm just gonna use that. And you can see, now you can see that the cutout, um, you can kind of see where the heart is and that makes it a little bit easier. That's one thing that the wood doesn't have. Um, you, this goes up to almost the edges, so you kind of know where you're gonna stamp, but sometimes it's a little harder to see exactly where the image is gonna go if it's mounted on wood. This makes it a little bit easier. Now, one of the downsides of these is that sometimes, especially with um, words and sentiments and smaller stamps in general, sometimes they had a tendency to fall off. Now, um, this is a Stampin' Up! set that is the same as the um, Unity. They're both cling mount stamps. Um, as you can see, Stampin' Ups has, um, let me flip it over, they, have, they come with stickers so you can see the outline of the image and then you can see exactly what you're grabbing for, which is really nice. Stampin' Up! has improved them and made them stick a lot better than they used to, but when I had a small stamp, even if it was just like the word you or something, um, I would frequently lose it because it wouldn't stick to the acrylic block. So um, they, they have uh, done a good job fixing that. So these are your cling mount stamps. And those are really nice too. Um, I, I love red rubber. It does the best job for um, stamping. But the, the I think the big leader on the market today is um, what's called clear or photopolymer stamps. And this set from Altenu is one of my favorites. And I'm going to demonstrate quickly um, how, what's special about this and what you can do. Um, first of all, these don't have the wiggle room. You just, it's, it's a pretty solid stamp and on acrylic block, that's it. But you really don't need to have the foam on the smaller images. And I wanted to demonstrate here what you can do. Okay, so, um, so what's nice about these acrylic stamps or photopolymer stamps is that you can see exactly where you're stamping. Um, if it's a big sheet of paper, it's not that big of a deal, but I'll demonstrate with this little leaf here. Again, from the same Alta News set. Once you have your main flower, you m might wanna be like, well, I'll put some leaves right around it and I'm gonna have to move this up just a little. But what's nice about that is you can get right up to the flower without going over. And that is almost impossible with a wood mount stamp or a cling mount stamp. Um, the other thing that's really nice about uh, clear stamps is that you can bend them and that gives a little bit more variety to your um, projects. This one is a straight image that says, holding you in my heart, and you can take it and bend it a little bit. 
and use that stamp. And then you can wrap it around, like say you want it to be in a semicircle around the heart. Oops, that image didn't come out real well, and I'm gonna talk about that in another um, one of my videos. There are ways to remedy that. And, um, but it's, it's not that bad, but I'm gonna do it again over here. And again, you can rock it just a little bit to make sure that it um, has a good image. So these are the three kinds of stamps. Now, what I wanted to also talk about though, are acrylic blocks. And not all acrylic blocks are created equal. Let me just move this so we can look at the acrylic blocks. Um, ink all over the place is just part of stamping. Even on my hands, um, I get used to it. <laughs> But anyway, these are the acrylic blocks that I'm using, and I have them from a number of different manufacturers. Um, these are from Stamping Up, and I really like them the best. Um, I am not a Stamping Up demonstrator. I do have a demonstrator that I buy from, um, but I like to buy from a lot of different companies. Um, there's so many good things out there, but these Stampin' Up blocks are really cool because they are, are they the thickest? They are the thickest. And like the wood that has the grooves in the side that makes them easy to grab, these have grooves on all four sides. And that makes it very easy to stamp. Now these two I got from Michael's or Joann's. I think they both have them. And as you can see, there's little lines on it. So if you're stamping a, a sentiment, especially a longer one that says, thank you for your hospitality, um, you can line that sentiment up with that line and then you can get a very good image on your paper that's not crooked. Now between these two, you can see that this one is thicker and this one is not. The thicker the acrylic block, the better, just because it's easier to not get ink on your fingers and on the paper where you don't want it. Um, this little one is something that would probably cost a dollar by itself and often something this thin would come with a rubber stamp that you bought like in the dollar section maybe at Michael's. Um, they're not bad, especially if you're just starting out, you just have to be a little bit more careful. Um, so often when I am stamping with these, you can see that my finger goes below the line of the stamp and what ends up happening is I end up sticking my fingers in the ink pad as I'm making, uh, as I'm stamping the image. So, and then sometimes that can transfer onto the paper if I'm not careful. So that's the advantage of the thicker acrylic blocks, but don't feel like you need to use those at the beginning, especially. Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll take the image if I if I can and put it more over to the side and just stamp it off like that so that my fingers are kind of hanging off and kind of do it like that. So, um, so those are basically the three kinds of rubber stamps. There are the wood mount and the cling mount and the clear mount. And as long as you know what you'll need for each one and the pluses and the minuses, they're all really great. And um, we don't wanna forget about these guys. These are a lot of fun too if you see those around or if you need one with a handle. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave any questions or comments down below. I'd love to reach out to you. And if you'd like, please click subscribe. Thanks so much.